Hi guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what I have for you today is another review on my Try the World box. So this month the country is Argentina as you can see here. And what I love about these boxes is that they come with a culture guide. So you're gonna be able to find out all kinds of information about the country that you are getting in that box. You're gonna have recipes, information. It's just really, really nice. And I cannot wait to try some of these items. Now, every box, they collab with a celebrity chef, chef from each country. So that's kind of a neat thing. And then it tells you the contents of your box. But I don't like to look at that because I feel like it spoils the surprise. So let's get started. So actually I might need to look at it from time to time if I'm not sure what a product is. But anyway, this is Butter Cookies Bake Love Cool. 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 Is it an exclamation mark or is it an L? I don't know. But these are butter cookies and they're sweet and salty. I love when things are sweet and salty. I think that's really, really yummy. Now if these are anything like the cookies that I received in my Morocco box. Oh, you don't even know how fast those went. I ate those like they were going on a style. They were so good and my family was all digging in there too because they were just like, where are these from? So, oh, these sound really, really good. And they also come in other flavors. It looks like lemon and ginger, chai. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to look these up if I like them because that sounds really, really good. So the next thing is this Vinoli Chimichurri sauce. That looks really good, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to refer to the card because <laughs> I know not what to do with this. Parsley, garlic, oregano, red pepper, and olive oil combine to form the Argentine staple chimichurri. This robust sauce is commonly served on the side as a dip for meat and vegetables. Yum! Well, it looks really good. You can see all those like little spices and stuff in there. That looks really, really good. Can't wait to try this. Okay, so the next thing is this dulce de membrillo. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> You know what it looks like to me? It looks like guava paste, but you know what it is? It's creamed sweet quince. So, I'm not exactly sure what quince tastes like or what it looks like, but this looks exactly like guava paste, which I'm obsessed with. So if it's anything like that, I would definitely like it. And according to the card, it says that you can put this on like goat cheese or crackers and it would be really yummy. So I hope that this is sweet. It's sounding like it is. I mean, look at it. It's red and it's gelatinous looking. Mm. So the next thing is this MQA Gourmet. I think I, I, you read it, you read it. <laughs> it looks like um, Rikaito, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Um, let's see. Green olives are freshly pitted and ground to make this delicious green olive paste. You put it on... I have no idea. Doesn't say what you put it on, but it's sort of like tapenade. So, I love tapenade. I would try this on a cracker. Or what else could I put this on? I have no idea. It looks so yummy. Mmm. So, this looks super good. <laughs> So the next thing is Chamana tea, and there are three tea bags in here, which is really nice because I am obsessed with tea. I drink it all the time. In fact, it just makes me feel good. Like it makes me feel soothed at nighttime when it's all warm, and I just love green tea. Um, I don't think this is green. It doesn't really say what kind of tea it is, but I love almost all teas, so I'm sure I will enjoy this. This is a red wine marinade. It looks so good. I'm going to show it to you. Hopefully you can see it and it will focus on that. But this is red fruits, Melbeck wine, and honey sauce. And you are supposed to marinate meats in this. And that just sounds so sweet. I love the idea of having sweet things um, in your savory foods. I just think that's so yummy. So I cannot wait to put this on my meat. I don't know what kind of meat it says to do. Let's see. Oh, perfect for seasoning lamb, pork, or turkey. I love all of those things. Not so much the lamb unless it's mixed with something else. I don't know. But pork and turkey, oh, they're so good. Okay. Anyway, I can't wait to try this. And this is from Memories of Patagonia. So the last item in this box I thought I'd save for last because it's sort of dessertish. It is Dulce de Leche, and it looks super good. Look, it's just like a jar full of caramel. Oh, it looks so, so good. 
Let's see what it says about it. This milky marmalade is the national jam of Argentina, a caramel topping that can be eaten right out of the jar or drizzled over ice cream, chocolate, or cake for a decadent treat. So yes, very happy with this, cannot wait to try it. So overall, my Argentina box was just really nice. I really liked it. If you guys wanna try out Try the World, I will leave their link in the description box below. They are a bi-monthly subscription box, so they are not monthly. And yeah, if you wanna check it out, I will leave it down there for you. So I thank you so much for watching Glass and Sparkle. I'll see you next time, bye.